हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू विजिट विजडम इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर डाइविंग इन टू समथिंग रियली कूल इन फ्लटर क्रिएटिंग कस्टम शेप्स यूजिंग द क्लिप पाथ विजिट इफ यू आर एवर वॉन्टेड टू मेक यूर एप स्टैंड आउट विद यूनिक डिजाइन एंड क्रिएटिव यू आई दिस टूटोरियल इज फॉर यू बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू क्रिएट कस्टम शेप्स क्लिप विजिट्स इन क्रिएटिव वेज एंड इनहेंस द ओवरऑल लुक ऑफ योर फ्लटर एप्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Here is what we will cover today. What is Clip Path and why it's useful? Basics of using Clip Path, creating custom shapes with custom clipper, and few practical example: designing a custom header, clipping an image, tips and best practices for using Clip Path efficiently. So, what exactly is Clip Path? In simple terms, Clip Path is a widget that allows you to clip a child widget into a custom shape. This is really powerful when you want to create unique designs that go beyond the standard rectangles, circles or rounded corners. With Clip Path, you can define any shape you want using a custom clipper class. This gives you the freedom to create some really interactive and interesting design. Let's start with the basics. First, we will look at how to use Clip Path in a simple scenario. Imagine you have an image and you want to clip it into a triangle shape. So, For that first open your flutter project then from here remove all these comments then remove this my home page class now come to the my app class then remove all of this code and from home property here add the scaffold widget then here add the app bar widget then for the title property here add the text as clip path example then for the body property here add the center widget then for the child property here add the clip path widget So this clip path widget takes two properties. First is the clipper property and the second is the child property. So the clipper property is the custom clipper class. So here we need to create a custom clipper class. So for that come above this my app class then here create a class as triangle clipper. Then this class extends the custom clipper class. Then for the generic type here add the path class. Then for this triangle clipper class Here we need to add two methods. First is the get clip method and the second is the should reclip method. So add that. Then first come to this get clip method. Then here create a path object as path. Now here we are going to create a triangle shape. Now try to understand this. For creating a triangle shape, first we need to add the starting point. So in any triangle shape the starting point is going to always be at the top and in the middle of total width so for that here add the path dot line to method then for the x property here add the size width divided by 2 so this is going to be the middle of the total width then for the y property here add 0 so this is going to be the top of the total height then after this add the path dot line to method Then for the x property here add the size dot width. Then for the y property here add the size dot height. So this is going to be the bottom right corner of the triangle. So up until now we have created the right line of the triangle. Then after this add the path dot line to method. Then for the x property here add zero. Then for the y property here add the size dot height. So this is going to be the bottom line of the triangle. Then after this add the path dot line to method then for the x property here add the size dot width divided by 2 then for the y property here add 0 so this is going to be the left line of the triangle then after this add the path dot close method so this is going to close the path then after this return this path so this is the get clip method then after this come to this should reclip method then here return false So this is the should reclip method which is used to check whether the clipper should be reclipped or not. So this is the custom clipper class. Then come to this clipper property, then here add the triangle clipper class. Then for the child property, here add the image dot asset widget. Then for the image property, here add the path of the image. So here I have already added a asset image in this project and the path of that image in pubspec.yml file. Now let's test this out. So save this code and run the application. So here you can see we have this triangle shape and this is clipped from the image. 
सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन यूज द क्लिप पाथ विजिट टू क्लिप अ चाइल्ड विजिट इन टू अ कस्टम शेप नाउ लेट्स मूव टू मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स शेप्स द रियल पावर ऑफ क्लिप पाथ कम्स वेन यू स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग कस्टम शेप्स यूजिंग कस्टम क्लिपर यू कैन क्रिएट एनी शेप यू कैन इमेजिन बाई मैनुपुलेटिंग द पाथ ऑब्जेक्ट लेट्स क्रिएट अ वे वी हैडल दिस इज अ पॉपुलर डिजाइन दैट यू विल सी इन मेनी मॉडर्न एप्स सो फॉर दैट क्रिएट अ न्यू क्लास एज वेव क्लिपर then this class will extend the custom clipper class then for the generic type here at the path class then for this wave clipper class here we need to add two methods first is the get clip method and the second is the should reclip method so add that then first come to the get clip method then here create a path object as path now here we are going to create a wave shape so for that here add the path dot line to method then for the x property here add zero then for the y property here add size dot height minus 40 so this is going to be the first starting point of the wave then after this create a variable as first control point then this is going to be the first control point of the wave so for that here add the offset class then for the x property here add size dot width divided by 4 then for the y property here add size dot height so this is the first control point of the wave and by control point i mean the point where the wave is going to bend then after this create a variable as first end point then this is going to be the first end point of the wave so for that here add the offset class then for the dx property here add size dot width divided by 2.25 then for the y property here add the size dot height minus 30 so this is the first end point of the wave then after this add the path dot quadratic bezier to method then for this first control point property here add the first control point dot dx then for the first control point property here add the first control point dot dy then for the first end point do the same so this is going to create the first curve of the wave then after this do the same for the second curve so for that copy these above four lines of code then paste it here then change the variable names so for the second control point here change the values of all these properties like i'm doing here now we are ready with the wave shape then after this add the path dot line to method then for the x property here add size dot width then for the y property here add 0 so this is going to be the end point of the wave then after this add the path dot close method so this is going to close the path then after this return this path so this is the get clip method then after this come to the should reclip method and from here returns false now come to the build method of the my app class then here remove everything from the scaffold widget then here add the body property and here add the column widget then for the children property here add the clip path widget then for the clipper property here add the wave clipper class then for the child property here at the container widget then for the height property here at 200 then for the color property here at the blue color so this is going to be create a wave shape then after this add the expanded widget then for the child property here at the container widget so this is going to be the other content then save this file and run the application now here you can see we have this wave shape and this is a clip from the container So this is how you can create custom shapes using the clip path widget in Flutter. So that's it for this video. If you have any question feel free to ask them in comments below. And if you found this video helpful don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.